let me now answer one of the questions that you ask me so regular. What is the difference between the two books? The red book and the green book. What is the difference? The difference is the red book is the road code book. This book helps you to know the road, the road sign, rule of the road and so forth. This book also will aid you, will help you to get your learner's license or your private license. This book will help you to get that. They're going to ask you 20 questions from the road code book for you to get your learner's license. You can't get your learner's license no other way but through this book. When you're ready now to go on now to your general Java's license now, you want bigger license now, you want to real license now, then this is where this book comes in, the mechanical book. They want, to, they want you to know how the engine and your vehicle operate. So they want to make sure that you know something about your engine before you go and drive. So they're going to ask you about 20 questions, 19 to 20 questions from this book. After this book, now after you pass this test now in this book, you're going to do some driving. You're going to, they're going to make you park, back up. Hill start, you're going to stop on the little ramp and move forward. They're going to test you a little bit in the yard, with the yard test. Then after the yard test now, they're going to take you on the road. That is when you get the road test from the, from the one of the examiner. They will carry on the road and they will test you on the road. When you're on the road, don't act like you're a shutter driver. Please. I'll do a video about that very sometime next week about how to operate when you are being on tests on the road. When you're going on your road test with the examiner, how to operate when you're out there. So at this point now, we're going to ask you three questions from the mechanical book. Because every day now cost me, so I'm not asking enough questions from this book. So, mechanical book. Are you ready for three questions from the mechanical book? I'm ready. First question is 128. What would you suspect if you notice thick black smoke coming from the exhaust of your engine? In other words, what would you suspect if you see black smoke coming from your tailpipe? Answer. The carburetor requires adjustment. The carburetor requires adjustment. That's the answer. Question number 129. What would cause overheating? What would cause overheating? So you adjust your vehicle and the needle gone up to H. What would cause that? Answers. A. Poor water circulation. 2. Binding bricks. 3. Broken fan belt for clog radiator. So one of these four can cause your vehicle to overheat. One rule though, whenever you're driving your vehicle, any vehicle, all are new. Always glance on your dashboard now and again. When I am driving, every three to two minutes, I glance on my dashboard. Me check gas level and me check if my vehicle are overheat. Me always do that. And more than one occasion, me catch the vehicle a overheat when it just a pass half a go up. So I me pull off of the road and make it cool down. You see, if you allow your vehicle to overheat, Papa Jesus, big problem. It may lick your engine head and so forth. That's why always glance. Look down on your dashboard, check what I go on. You hear me? Do that. Good driver does that. Question 130. Our final question this morning. 130. What would, what would the effect be if the tailpipe became black? What would the effect be if the tailpipe became black? Answer. There would be loss of power. 
So if it tail pipe becomes black, last of all. That's it from Anchor.